In this video we're going to take a look at the keyword optimizer. Now when you're wanting to rank for a particular keyword one of the things you can do is study what your competition is doing and finding good keywords to use and target for the search engines. There's a couple of ways you can do that within Keyword K9. The first is to put a URL in here and it could be one of your competitions pages. You can also search for full text queries so if you have content from somebody else's site or you have articles of your own you can look for the keywords within those, those pieces of content. Now particularly if you analyze somebody else's content where that's permissible the keywords that it throws up can give you clues on what kind of uh, related terms Google will be interested in because if a page uh, if a site is on page one that means they're doing something right and that Google is rewarding them. So if you work out what they're doing, you can emulate that. You can do the same kind of thing. You can use the same kind of keywords, the same kind of structure, the same kind of content, and so on. You can also do a search query. Now this is a search engine term, so if you were to search for weight loss, keyword K9 will go out and do that search and then look at the top results in Google and work out what the keywords are. So actually let's do that for weight loss. We're going to do it as a query. I'm going to look for the top 25 keywords. Let's just hit find keywords and see what comes up. And then when that's done we'll also look at the URL and the text type of uh, keyword optimizer. So we've already got some results and let's have a look at this lose weight. Yes that's an obvious one. Mayo Clinic, physical activity. Wouldn't have thought of that but it's obvious really for weight loss. Low carb, unintentional weight loss interesting uh, that would be something where people might be ill so that's an entirely different niche that I hadn't thought of body weight nutrition fat facts uh, dairy products fat free okay vitamin D diet weight management okay now we can do a filter here we can look for a minimum of two words in the phrase if we wanted the more long tail phrases we might choose three four five and so on we can specify a minimum word length. That's how many letters are in the word uh, and how many times it has to occur and so on. Common words such as at, the, these are excluded. Uh, they kind of um, muddy the waters a little bit because they're not really keywords as such and Google wouldn't treat them as, as keywords as such. So that's checked by default. So by searching the top results in Google for weight loss, we're getting some interesting ideas. That one certainly I'd be interested in. I can find similar keywords to this just by clicking on here and it will take me to the Keyword Explorer tool which we've seen previously so I can get all the words related to that. So we've done a query now let's do a, a URL so let's go to URL and let's uh, find something keywords on um, I don't know Mayo Clinic so I'm just going to do a search for Mayo Clinic and then find the top one okay Mayo Clinic there we go so let's copy that and see what keywords are on their URL. So again, I'm just looking for 25 keywords. Click on here, let it do its thing, and then it will tell me the keywords on that website. So this could be my direct competition. I could do this for uh, the, the top site, the second site, the third site, and so on, on page one of Google. So already finished, Mayo Clinic, as you'd expect. That's branding, patient care clinic is, contact Mayo, right place for your health, clinical trials. Now, of course, because they're promoting their own thing, you know, these keywords are going to be very much specific to Mayo Clinic. But some of these here are interesting, so clinical trials and so on. If I want to do the same thing with text, let's just go find something. Let's have a look. Wikipedia. So if I copy and paste this entire document. Now I'm doing this from here, you could actually just put this URL in, but I'm doing this to save having to find an article. And then find the keywords. What this is going to do is analyze the text. Now that text could be an article that you've written, it could be private label rights article that you've got, it could be a report that you paste in. And already we're seeing batch of keywords, Dr. Henry Plummer, Plummer Building, might want to look at that. He found it in, I guess, Dr. Henry under the guidance of. And specifically because this is 
talking about an organization it's not really going to have very commercial keywords in there as you'd expect but it shows you how fast it is for analyzing a batch of text here so the keyword optimizer tool gets you a batch of keywords from your competitors or a query or text let's just go back to the query um, and once you've done that you can then find similar keywords you can explore the keywords if I were to explore in fact let me just do the keywords again for weight loss and I'll explore that keyword so physical activity if I explore that it fills in the form for me let me analyze that specific keyword and see what we come up with very very steady interest as you can see and in a moment we'll get the details for the competition cost per click and so on and this particular one as you can see is, is fairly hard to rank for but it's good number of searches a good cost per click high advertiser competition rather a lot of competing uh, websites for that particular phrase so it might be a little bit difficult to rank for as you can see very hard in fact but tremendous interest so if I wanted to what I could do let's just close this I could also explore related keywords so let's do that and this is all generated from that keyword optimi optimizer which found me a keyword that looked interesting so optimizing the keywords is a way of finding keywords that you will then be able to use for chapter headings blog posts again in similar ways as we've seen before and then for further research so each of these tools can dovetail into the others as you've seen and give you tremendous power for finding the keywords that will work for you that have good cost per click that have good advertising competition that have easy to rank for possibilities so there we go we get benefits of physical activity why is physical activity important and again we can filter these if we wanted to so let's just have a look uh, let's say cost per click we're wanting to look at least for a dollar which a lot of people would say a dollar is a good one to do you might want to go higher 312 keywords let's just filter some more competition wants to be let's say very high 75 or above so we're down to 30 keywords and shall we say monthly searches are more than 2000 let's just see what we get if any we get four keywords and then we could analyze these again as we've seen before in the previous videos well they're all very hard but you can see how easy it is to move from one tool to the next and the keyword optimizer will analyze competition for you in particular which makes it easier for you to see what other people are doing and come up with ideas for your content and remember if you have any questions please contact the support desk we'll be happy to help you enjoy using keyword canine